Hello, welcome back to the channel and indeed the van. And I've got a question for you today. Have you had problems with your water level indicator? Well, I have. And let me tell you, I've now looked in the manual and I've recalibrated the sensor and I think it may have solved the problem. But I'm going to go and check and I'm going to check this live with you. So I may be very disappointed or I may be very happy because recently when I was away I filled the tank to 100% we'd used the water for a few days uh, I checked the gauge and it was still shown that I had three quarters of a tank of water it was shown 80% water um, so Julie decided she was going to have a shower jumped in the shower ran out of water halfway through nothing worse okay so and a couple of times now I've been caught out I've run out of water when I thought that I had water in there because the gauge said that I did which has led me to this recalibration of the sensor now I've recalibrated the sensor, as I said, I've now filled the tank with water because you have to fill the tank with water before you can recalibrate. Basically there's a procedure that you've got to go through and on my vehicle, which is an Elder CV40 camper van, um, the procedure is uh, to recalibrate the sensor, you fill the tank with water, you then hold the battery and the water buttons in together for six to eight seconds that then goes into calibration mode and there's one green light lights up on the display once you're in calibration mode you press the water tank button and you hold that for two seconds until all the lights flash three times if they flash three times that means the calibration's been done and it's been reset so i've carried out that procedure so there was 100 percent water in i've let the water run off for a little while and I haven't wasted that water because I've used it to water the plants. Um, so I'm now going to have a look and see what my water level indicator shows me. And see if that sensor has been calibrated and is now working. Fingers crossed, people. Let's hope it's fixed because it's driving me mad. So here we go. So I'm going to turn the power on. Okay. I'll press that button there. And that was the pump just pumping the water through a little bit. This is my battery level indicator. And that shows me batteries are full, that's correct. This is my water level indicator. And that's shown 40%. Now that's not right. There's definitely more than 40% water in there. So it looks like the calibration has failed. I'll press it again. Ah, now it's saying 80%, which is more accurate. And I think there is 80% water in there. So I'll try that again. 80%. So I wonder what that was the first time I pressed it. <laughs> now it's two totally different. Ah, oh, now it's coming at 80%. So, yeah. Can anybody explain what's going on here? It's like a disco. It's like a mobile disco. There's that many different flashing lights going on. So that's what it should be. That's 80% water, if the calibration's correct. Now that's two different lights altogether. And now it's come on with all the lights. Okay. I wonder what those mean. I don't know. I'll have to check with my dealer, I think. Yeah, I'll have to check with the dealer. But I think it's working. It's certainly working better than it was because there's about 80% water in there. I know there's about 80% water in there. And a few times there, it did show me 80%. I'll just straighten you up there. Now... That doesn't look straight to me. There. A few times there, it showed 80%. Which I think is correct. So. What now? I guess the only way is to see if I run out of water again when the gauge has shown that I've got water. Now, I'm sure somewhere in the manual it said something about it show it the the last light lights up to show you that your waste water tank is full um and that just lights up automatically now i'll have to put that to the test someday by running water through the system and into the waste water tank um but that would take the waste water tank i think takes 45 liters so it would mean 45 liters of water going down the plug hole um yeah Okay, so that's a little test for today. Um, it's not a very exciting video because how can you make water calibration, sensor calibration exciting? If anybody out there can make water sensor calibration an exciting subject, you're a better man than me.
or woman of course well you'll all be a better woman than me but uh okay right sorry for waffling on i'll see you in the next video bye